What's up guys, it's CJ Lipstrew from Pocketnow.com and today we're checking the progress of Android for Windows phones. It's available thanks to the XD Android team and the version I'm running is modified to work on a Sprint HTC Touch Pro 2 which runs on a CDMA network. The project has certainly come a long way since we last did a video so let's take a look at what's currently working. So we'll turn the display on and here we have the Android lock screen, we'll slide to unlock and here we have the familiar Android home screen we can slide from side to side to navigate through different panels and before we get any further let me actually show you the functions of the hardware keys so if we press the power button up top it'll actually bring you to the home screen tapping and holding that button will pull up the Android task switcher which displays up to six of your most recent actions if we press the end key it'll turn the display off If we tap and hold the end key, you'll get profile options and the ability to boot back into Windows Mobile. The back key does exactly what you would expect, which is go back in action, and the start key brings up options for whichever screen you're on. And of course we have the send key, which pulls up your traditional phone options. So while we're in this screen, let's go ahead and test to see if the phone's radio is working. So I'm going to pull up the dialer and I'll actually call my voicemail and as you can see it's initiating and I don't know if you can hear this but it has successfully connected to my voicemail so yes you can make and receive phone calls. So I'm going to end the call we'll go back to the home screen so one of my favorite features of Android is actually the taskbar thanks to its handy window shade for notifications. As you can see it works pretty well and we already have some notifications here but we're actually going to test this now by sending myself a text message from another device. So we should see a notification in a couple seconds. Ah oh, there it is, it says hello so we'll pull the shade down and click on the notification and here we are inside of messaging so we'll go ahead and pull up the soft keyboard and type out a simple response and send it off so SMS is working you should hear the sound notification yep there it is on the other device another feature that's working is the app tray for browsing programs and to launch them we can also tap and hold on a, a program to add a shortcut to the home screen we can just as easily get rid of it in the trash can we can also pull up these options to add shortcuts, widgets, folders and to change wallpapers I'm gonna add a shortcut we'll go with bookmark and I'll go with ESPN so here we have a shortcut to ESPN We'll click that and it'll launch the Android browser. So as you can see data is working on this build. Since we already looked at the soft keyboard, let's go ahead and use the hardware keyboard. I'm going to type in pocket now and it should do a Google search. Click enter. Ah, here we go. So sometimes the Android browser does lag a bit on the Touch Pro 2, but it's working pretty well right now. So let's go back to the home screen. And we'll check out the calendar. Click on today. As you can see, that works as well. Messaging and email both work. Let's actually go to the market and I was looking at Amazon.com earlier um, you can install all these apps you can uninstall them and I've already done that plenty of times since I've loaded this build up we're not going to do it right now but when you install an app it will show up in the status bar while it's downloading and then installing so let's go back to the home screen 
and we'll actually load Urban Spoon, which I've downloaded and installed earlier. Unfortunately, GPS does not work on this build, but hopefully they'll get that working soon. So we'll go ahead and choose the city manually. I'm going to go with Atlanta, Georgia. Okay, here we go. Now the reason why I wanted to show you this particular app is to show you that the accelerometer is actually working. So we'll shake the phone and it should activate the randomizer. As you can see it does lag a bit at the beginning but it will work and it shows us a random restaurant to go to so we can actually click on the result and it'll load up just fine. So let's go back to the home screen. We can also launch the Astro browser to look up all of our all of our files on the storage card. And it works just fine. Let's go back to the home page. As you can see, I've downloaded Movie Finder, Fandango, all these popular Twitter clients. So you can download and install many of these apps from the market. So this was a look at Android for the HTC Touch Pro 2. While it's still missing GPS sound, Bluetooth, and other key functions, it's nothing less than amazing how much they've been able to accomplish up to this point. You can download, install, and run apps thanks to working data. You can send and receive calls and text messages, hardware keys, Wi-Fi, the accelerometer all work. You can also squeeze out about 7 hours of battery life with heavy usage. The list of working features has really grown over the past couple of months. So I'll post links on pocketnow.com as to how you can get Android up and running on multiple Windows mobile devices. Be sure to follow us on Twitter at twitter.com slash pocketnowtweets. That's it for now. Thanks for watching.